Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of The MCR. Mac and me, my name's TJ. Thanks, everyone, for your support. You can find us on Rumble at MI Conservative Roundtable, all one word. And on to the topic. If you've been a faithful follower of us, you'll know that uh, we think pretty poorly of the uh, establishment Republicans. Uh, we like to call them the uh, high road Republicans. Uh, uh, Mac especially likes to refer to them as highbrow Republicans. You know, uh, uh, the elites, those who are uh, above the fray. They, they, yes, they're, and that's, you know, that's my saying, above the fray. You know, they, and which is part of the reason why they have such disdain for Donald Trump, because Donald Trump uh, has no issue. Fray. What's that? He's in the fray. He's in the fray. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say he he's he's a he's a brawler. He fights in the gutter. He you know what? He stoops to their level and fights him in the gutter. OK. And uh, yeah, we're yeah, we're a fan of that. We're a fan of him. And and uh and these uh, high road Republicans can hit the high road, you know. Yeah. The reason why I mention all this is out of Colorado, the fourth district, there's a Republican representative. His name is Ken Buck. And he was opposed to impeachment. Uh, oddly enough, he did side with the other seven or eight. He was one of the eight Republicans that did vote to oust McCarthy. And I thought that was kind of odd, so I I don't know what his issue was with McCarthy, but uh, but but he's... Well, maybe it, it just depends on who's sliding an envelope under his door. Well, you know what, and that could be, because when I read that, I, I was a little surprised, but I wasn't surprised when I read that he opposed the impeachment, you know, of uh, uh, President Biden and, 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 that, and that kind of stuff. Well, he... He caught some flack from his constituency, and uh, so he came out uh, like like some weeks back. I'm not running for re-election. Well, and then he came out. Uh, I want to say last week he came out. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. And and by the time this segment airs, he's go- he's going to be re- he's going to resign his office by the end of this week. Okay, and. Uh, it, it my first thought was it was the equivalent of someone who's taking their ball and going home or something, you yeah. know. And, uh, I'll uh, hold my breath until you vote my way. It, you know it, exactly. Uh, you know you clearly don't appreciate the piss poor effort I've put in here. You know. Well, I'll tell you what. Here's what he doesn't appreciate: the Constitution, of the United States. Now, when a special counsel goes out and tells you. The president of the United States broke the law by keeping classified documents he never had a right to have, but he's too old and too feeble. We can't prosecute him. That's what impeachment is for then. Yeah. He doesn't necessarily have to go to jail, but he does have to leave office because he shouldn't be, as Nixon said, the the American people need to know their president's not a crook. Well, in this case, we do know that our president is a crook. But he doesn't want to do anything about it. Yeah, just like it, everything else, these whiny ass, weak Republican, spineless bitches that they are, they don't want to get in the fight. They want to take the high road. And I'll tell you about the high road. It's for cowards. They hide behind that so they don't have to do anything. So they can always appear to be virtuous. Amen, brother. Uh, there is a theory that he's doing this to directly take a swipe at uh, the MAGA crowd, you know, it, and, and, you know, I could say he's doing this to hurt Trump. The reality of it is it's hurting, it's hurting those who support Trump as much as, as much as, if not more than Trump himself. Well, if he's uh, so damn honorable, why doesn't he uh, meet the commitment that the people who voted for him made? Yeah. You know what? Really? Well, you know what? He he. To use your phrase, he's butt hurt. His feelings get, are butt hurt, and uh, because because they don't appreciate his effort. So well, he's just, another factor that may come into play here is Ronna Romney McDaniel, Romney McDaniel, uh, the other high road 
do nothing snobs. Uh, well, she's out now. So his cover is gone. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, uh, and the there there is a theory he's done this to affect uh, Lauren Boebert because she was going to switch and and uh, run for his district. You know, after after this uh, after this two years session was over with, and and there's there's a theory, a suspicion that he's doing this uh, prematurely. I'll say to get at her, to get at Trump. To get at all us MAGA people, and, you know, I'll show you as I'm as I'm uh, running out the door, you know, and yeah. and that's well, about what he's ever in Michigan. He can he can come by and show me personally. I'll have a chat with him. But uh, you know, I I was I was just inclined, you know, if for anyone who suspects why we have such such disdain for establishment high road Republicans. Let this be the latest example of uh, why why we believe or feel the way we feel, you know? Well, yeah, uh, and you know what? It, it goes back to the saying everyone's heard, for evil to floor, flourish, you only need good men to do nothing. That's what these high roaders do. They, In fact, they're experts at doing nothing while evil flourishes. Uh, and, you know, slightly off the topic, but I'm inclined to throw this in also. Uh, Pence came out and said he's not supporting President Trump. I'm not exactly surprised, but uh, you know, proof another for the pudding. I wrote You know what? Proof for the pudding. Uh, it let let him serve as another. I told you so about the way these people are. You know, you know? what? Yeah. Who was James Buchanan's vice president? You remember? Nope. Well, that's what's going to happen when uh, when history tells Mike Pence's story. Who? What? Yeah. Yeah, really. So, uh, you know, just uh, just the latest stunts of, of an establishment. Oh, and and correct me if I'm wrong, Mac, but don't these people have uh, like a. They, even if they just do one uh, two year. Uh, uh, one two year uh, term. OK. Don't they get paid for life afterwards? They, they receive. That I don't know. You know, I hear that, but I, I don't know that that's true. I mean, yeah, I, there are all kinds of things that get said that aren't true. Well, it it would just suck if that is true, because you know, especially the way this guy's bailing out of office. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thanks again, people of Colorado. Like we can thank the people in Utah uh, for putting these scumbag high roaders in office. Yeah. Uh, that's all I really got for this one. Uh, just, uh, just the latest stunts of a of an establishment high road Republican, and uh, you know, uh, doing what they can to stick it to the MAGA crowd. Really. Well, here's what the MAGA crowd could do if you weren't leaving office. I, I would maybe try to start a campaign where you you go to your Dollar Tree and get one of those plastic skeletons and and you cut the spine out and mail it to his office. In the you millions. mentioned Dollar. You mentioned Dollar Tree. Did you hear what's happening to them? Well, they're they also own Family Dollar, who I think all of their stores are closing, and they're a closing thousand like, Dollar Tree stores because the economy is so great. Well, they're they're. I I read an article, and I don't remember the exact number, but it's like five or six hundred stores nationwide, yeah. you know. And and I guess part of the problem is is inflation, you know. Uh, yeah. Nothing can be purchased for a buck or two now. Thank no. you, Joe Biden. Yeah. Well, when no. when you spend money that you print, it causes inflation. And your so. and your money that you do make becomes worthless. That's really the Democrats are for the poor. Yeah, really. All right. Well, that's all I got. Uh, and uh, thanks, everyone, uh, for your support. And we'll catch you in the next uh, video. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.